All right, so after much discussion about how to actually get the motor and coupled to the transmission, where the motor shaft here is direct shaft to the transmission spline here, because we're going with a clutchless setup. We're not using the flywheel. We've removed the weight of the flywheel and the pressure plate and the clutch. We actually took the clutch <coughs> and machined it down to be this 1 and 5 eighths diameter. And you can see here that this, what's remaining of the clutch has the spline socket inside, so it'll fit over the spline because it's the original clutch. And then we also had a machine that's cut a key in it so we could have a key fit in. And then we purchased online a Lovejoy connector, which is basically standard coupling connectors with different diameter choices that you have. These are made out of aluminum. You can have iron or steel. Aluminum's light, so we went with that. <coughs> we have the same diameter and key size that works with this Warp 9 uh, shaft on the motor. And so this, with a key, we would put the key in and then slide the Lovejoy connector over this and the key holds it from spinning. And then, once that is on that end, we am going to lightly put that there, then we did the same concept where we took the machined clutch piece with a key and made it so that it would fit inside the Lovejoy connector. And the Lovejoy connectors come with a little set screw here too so you can tighten it down and get it so that it doesn't slide back and forth. And then there's a rubber spider that goes between, as you can see it slides on like this, and this end also slides on like this, that forms your complete coupler. So the shaft, motor shaft goes in here, keyed, the transmission spline slides in here, and it's keyed, and you bring the two pieces, the motor and the transmission together, and they fit together for a direct drive which is a clutchless drive. Now the nice thing about the rubber spider is that this will allow you to be up to a hundredth uh, of an inch off and the rubber gasket, the rubber spider will actually compensate for that type of uh, misalignment. So that's the, one of the benefits of having the Lovejoy coupler. The really the hardest thing out of this whole thing, this, this Lovejoy coupler was ninety dollars online the clutch came with the car, and it cost about $150 for a machinist to come and grind it down, lathe it down to 1 and 5 eighths to fit this bore, and that was the cost of the coupler. And then we also have a spacer piece of metal that goes between here, and then the adapter plate that goes against here, so that we have the correct spacing between the spline of the transmission and the shaft of the motor. Thank you.